and you are watching Off the Press within the breakfast. This is the program where we take a look at our national dailies and try to make sense of it. And stay with me in studio is Liberals Oshoma. Thank you for still being here. My pleasure. All right, we have a couple of papers this morning to take a look at, but we shall begin with uh, the Nation newspaper as it will be displayed on your screen uh, before that is done, we would read out. Health workers begin strike, and that's on page six. Uh, MBA to lawyers ignore Malami on stamp fees. Uh, we have the picture of uh, Akpata there. Uh, AGF wrong, says Akpata. The story is on page eight. And Nigeria's debts may rise to 34 trillion naira in the third quarter. And that story is also on pages 17 to 24, quite elaborate there. And gunmen kidnap 16 on Kaduna Road, also on page 7 and on the Nation newspaper. And we have the big story there. Is a Yamu Rattle Sobaseki on performance on the front page, continued us as well inside uh, the newspaper. And then we have uh, Mr. President saying, we are ready to support your agricultural uh, policies and programs. And hard knocks for Basanjo over attack on Buhari uh, government is the big uh, screamer there. PDP president should listen, save Nigeria from collapse. And then birthed in integrity, the enduring legacy of Captain Hosa on the front page there. And that's about it. Um, something for you for the Edo 2020. They are also contained on pages 33. Libras, where do you want to be? In which story is catching your attention? First and foremost, as a lawyer, you know definitely. I know. <laughs> I know. I just wanted to give uh, you, let, let you say it yourself. Uh, I think um, um, the, the argument here, mm. I've listened to argument for and against, and um, including some of the ridiculous ones. I don't know which um, is your position. All of them agrees that what Malami had done is patently, you know, or traverse his pass. He doesn't have the powers to single-handedly amend the rules of professional conduct. Okay. Um, it is the general counsel of the bar that has the powers to do that. Um, but the argument for some people is that when the former attorney general in 2007 single-handedly did the same thing, mm -hmm empowering the MBA to collect, you know, more revenue that the MBA did in quarry. And that, so since that wrong precedent was set, and that, um, that's what emboldened Malemi mm -hmm. to now take that step to single-handedly also amend that um, um, section, even though he had said that um, powers vested in him, which he read, uh, you know, wrongly. And some have even said, the ridiculous one, I took another senior advocate, said that there was indeed a meeting of um, uh, the general counsel of the bar um, that people who didn't come for meetings should not complain. Mm. And then um, for me, I think that was very ridiculous because there can't be a meeting in vacuum and only you and the attorney general seems to only know, know that. About it. You know, so for me here, the issue should be for the fact that it was done wrongly in 2007 mm. does not mean that we should continue on that wrong trajectory and and so um, the Antony General should not you know because especially given the fact that this is a government that wants to do things differently mm. that wants to follow the rule of law that wants to follow but procedures. Libras, you know what that means is the fact that if we don't correct things yes um, you know so now if you now keep quiet mm. because you say oh, it was done wrongly and you keep quiet and then somebody else now goes for that to do it wrongly again, and you do not complain. It you know, it becomes a, you know a convention, mm. and then before you know it, it is a practice. Somebody just sits down somewhere and change the rules, you know, without the Congress. And then uh, Obasanjo uh, over uh, attack uh, on Buhari. Um, Obasanjo is somebody known to advise people, but hardly takes advice. Uh, Baba is known to advise everybody. He's been writing well, letters. He's an elder statesman. Yes, he hardly takes advice. And so I'm not shocked the response I'm getting from uh, that is coming from the presidency also, mm. uh, knocking him for daring to advise them that he also had opportunity to fix this problem. He did it. But the presidency also should know that when they are criticized, it's feedback. Mm. You should take you know, criticism in good faith. Take it as feedback and then 
correct the ones you can correct and then work at correcting the ones that are not fixable immediately. You know, for everybody to, just the same way Obasanjo had an attack dog in the person of Femi Fane Kayode to attack anybody that attacks him. Mm. And then when Ruben Abati was spokesperson for Jonathan, they said he wasn't attacking enough. They had to bring Doyo Kukbe to be an attack dog. Government does not need attack dogs mm. like this one now. So you once you criticize Buhari, they look for, they leave the issue. Nobody will address the issue and mm. then they go for, they do it to us on Twitter, on Facebook and, you know, I have a sister, um, um, Abigail in Sinabuja, she's a lawyer too. They'll be calling her, yes, your brother is on TV attacking government. And then they leave the issues that we are talking, are about. talking about and then attack your person. It's the same thing that government had been doing consistently. And that is what they are doing now also. Mm -hmm. But that won't lead us anywhere. For the fact that Obasanjo did not take advice, Obasanjo didn't do it well. Mm -hmm. Oh, Obasanjo created division. Obasanjo didn't create divisions. Even Obasanjo's time, we were more, there were more synergy. Mm -hmm. Abaribe granted an interview and he said, even during Obasanjo's time, you could find every tribe, you know, at the presidencies. And so you, you, if you have a problem and you can't reach, you know, the highest office, but you should be able to relate with somebody from your tribe because we are we're very tribal people. Yeah. But in this government now, you know, that he, he, he pointed it out that the highest Southeastern person in, at the presidency is a photographer. So what influence can he weigh? So all of these are things that are patent and that government should, you know, in mm -hmm. all honesty, look at. Look at, address you know, the issues. You, you address, address those issues. Mm -hmm. And then on the issue of um, health workers, why government is talking about increasing fuel price, or is it deregulation, they call it now. You have, Semantics. You have a crisis on your hand. Pa pandemic, the uh, and, uh, uh, Secretary of the Government of the Federation said, went to Gogolada Hospital, that's a national hospital, said he didn't know that there were no facilities. How will he know? Because there are, they don't attend these hospitals. Mm. If not for the pandemic, that they probably won't be seeing them here. They would go abroad, Aquabio uh, built, what head hospital standard, what standard hospital in Uyo, but that hospital was not good enough to treat his minor bruises he sustained from an accident, had to go to London. The president who I just came from Dubai also for small treatment. And, and so, you promise head workers, you know, allowances. Hazard allowances. Because they are the, even people are con donating money, contributing money in other societies to, you know, Thank their head workers, their frontline workers. But here, the government would rather spend money on themselves, buy cars for traditional rulers, buy jeeps for judges, mm. as if that's their responsibility. And then you now leave those people that are the front line of saving lives, of enhancing your responsibility. Died, you? I mean, Some of figures. whom have died. Yeah. Maybe after this one, you will soon hear that police will go on strike also. You will soon hear that the military has gone on strike because. You know, it is replicated in every mm -hmm. sector. The education, nobody even wants to go there. If not for the, the pandemic, maybe Asu would have been on, on another strike. They're still on strike anyways. Okay. Strike you know, so ongoing. all of this, because of a new responsibility on the part of government, they tell you, cut costs. But they also do, do not want to cut costs. That's, that's mm -hmm. unfortunately, you know, the, 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 the problem. And, and, and I don't know if I can take... You know, one yes, last please. one, yes, also a matter of interest. Yeah, the debates, the Edo State Governorship election debate. Um, for the first time since the campaigns, this is the time, this is the only opportunity where, um, you know, questions are put to, mm. you know, the contestants on, you know, what they want to do or what they have achieved. And I would also want to encourage us to, you know, have not just one off. Let's yeah. make it part of the rule. Let it be a culture. Let it be a, a, a culture and a practice mm. here that there must be at, at least three, four debates organized by peop independent people mm. so that the people also, yesterday was a television host that had the opportunity. People also, you can have a panelist drawn randomly also, you know, to at least have questions. People can, you know, send Interact in questions. With them you know, interact with them and ask questions. And, 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 and for me, that's, that should be encouraging. Um, even though I watched the debate, yes, I could say the two contestants ran head to head, uh, but there were a few issues also, a few questions that um, 
also I, I, the answers were just them. Um, you, you know, mm, those are the kind of things yeah. that will be addressed. If addressed if sub on subsequent, mm. you, you know, uh, debates. debates. But it is good. We are gradually building a debate culture, mm -hmm. and um, we, we should we'll encourage it. Yeah. All right, thank you for your thoughts. And that will be it for the Nation newspaper. We will take a look now at this day, and it will be displayed. Uh, but before they do that, NNPC unveils plan for CNG refilling plants nationwide. And that's on the front page there, but it's continued on page um, page 10, I believe, of the Nation, of this day, rather. World Bank starts $750 million per support fund disbursement in 2021. That story is on page 8 of this day. And of course, the story that is trending. Uh, the federal government replies, Obasanjo says, says Buhari prevented Nigeria from failing. Uh, you are Nigeria's divider in chief, presidency tells former president. And listen to the voice of wisdom, uh, voice of reason, rather, PDP. Um, urges uh, the president and APC and the rest of it there. All right, we also have PDP alleges plot to use judiciary to halt a do election and uh, trades words with APC over suspected plans to buy votes. That's on the front page. And then uh, lastly, health workers begin nationwide strike. And that's just what we're talking about. All right, now, um, Libras, are you worried about Edu? Um, no, 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 the time of um, warriors passed. Warriors huh? passed um, uh, I will only admonish the people to ensure that um, no matter how how attractive it may look, hmm. um, all this you know we have a new culture of vote buying. Um, Renewed. Kitchen. Yes, yes. You know, that's, that's like um, Chinua <laughs> Chibi said in, um, in, in Chiki Adi River, Eleke Dibet said, look, since hunters have learned to shoot without missing, mm. you know, him also will learn to fly without patching. You know, and so um, what Sad. happened is the moment, you know, INEC decided to, you know, introduce um, um, a more transparent process to end vote buying. Mm. So the politicians ensured that you know they up their game they now call it you know you vote you show me the vote and then you go collect money in a kitty they call it um ed de sebe you know you vote and go and cook soup wow you know but for me edo people should remember that you can if you cook that soup it will possibly last you for two days maximum three days if you are you know miserly mm. but then that money that you are using to cook soup know that is your infrastructure money for four years and that's what you're using because the, it's not a charitable organization they would at the end of the day find a way to recoup the money that mm. they have given you one way or the other, the other. and and so i neck also should ensure that the processes it's um is seamless and transparent enough because the best legacy mm. any government can bequeath to its people is a transparent election. Correct. That's the best legacy you can bequeath. Otherwise, if you now begin to talk about democracy and you are manipulating the process, mm. that's no longer democracy. And then also, you'll find a situation where PDP is alleging that uh, APC you know, wants to use the judiciary. Mm. I think the, the judges, should the NJC, should at some point, you know, call on judges just the same way. If you remember, there were a time where, you know, there was this um, constant reminder by the NJC, the CGN, on judges not to grant frivolous applications. Mm. Remember the days of uh, Association for Better Nigeria when, you know, you use uh, an Esparte application to halt an, an entire process. I also think that PDP is trying to preempt mm. all of that you know, for because we've seen others and counter others, some from Edo High Court, uh, High Federal High Court in Edo, some from Port Harcourt. You now begin to wonder why somebody will leave Benin and go to a Federal High Court in Port Harcourt. Where there is a fed, when there is a Federal High Court in Port Harcourt, in Edo, in Benin, or you leave the Federal High Court in Benin and go to the one in Abuja. What it means is that you are forum shopping. You're actually looking for a judge that will grant you you know, favorable orders. Mm. And I think when such happens, the NJC should immediately activate the instrumentality of checks to ensure that such issues are looked at and why was, 
you know, why is the litigant going that far when mm -hmm. you have, you know, a court just by your doorstep? Right. When uh, we have, you know, tried to simplify these issues for you, and then you go that you 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 are looking for, you know, where you get a favorable, <laughs> so you know, and the NNPC availing plan for compressed natural gas, you know, uh, plant nationwide. Uh, we have seen situations where NNPC had been unveiling so so many so many things, and then uh, we just just hope that all of this, you know, will, um, will leave the area of unveiling and actually, you know, be able to see this actual work on ground. And that's where we begin to celebrate them and not just to unveil and then leave it for the next administration to come and unveil again. <laughs> or to, to begin something new entirely. Yeah. <laughs> All right, in the interest of time, we'll move to the Punch newspaper. And it says power generation tumbles to 2,419.7 megawatts and supply uh, worsens. That story is on page 28. Again, we have uh, a pattern there saying Malami can single handedly amend lawyers' professional uh, conduct rules. Uh, we've already talked about that. The story is on page 9. Uh, top 10 exporters end $74.8 million in one month. Also on page 28. And FG fumes as health workers begin strike today on page 41. Should they fume or they should just uh, pay the health workers will be the question. Failed state presidency ACF attack Obasanjo as Ohaneze Afenifere defend ex-president. The story is on page two. Um, and then we have Edo decides somewhere there. Uh, PDP and APC fight over vote buying and plot uh, Tinubu mentioned. We also have uh, leaders group decries tension ahead of the poll. PDP and APC rain harsh words on uh, governor candidates and deputy on page 20 as well. And then we have confusion trails uh, drowning of two Lagos residents in flood. Oh, that's unfortunate. Um, Pam wine seller uh, bits of policewoman over missing 150,000 naira. Interesting. Um, page five, it makes it to the front page. It's on page five. Uh, we are probing viral video of shisha smoking car. Uh, that's according to COP, according to the police. The story is on page five as well. And on education, only JSS3 and SS2 will resume on September the 21st, according to the Lagos State Government, on page nine. And herdsman Rob Ogunfama rapes his three-year-old daughter. And the story is on page four. And lastly, Akira uh, deputy, uh, deputy deputy's party chair defects to APC. That story is also on page 20 of the Punch newspaper. All right. Did you see that video? Yes, I did. Okay. I did. And immediately I sent it to some of my friends who are in government and that they said that... Um, they investigated it. They know that they were interrogating, uh, that this woman is under serious interrogation. And I wonder what you'll be interrogating mm. her on, something that is, you know, um, obviously very clear. Except, you know, she's, um, she was actually sent for recruitment by somebody high up there. Otherwise, the first thing would be, you know, go on suspension and then you investigate the scenario. Mm. And not to begin to interrogate. And then when you gather your facts, you can now confront her you you know, say, with based on what for her to out. respond, you know. Um, but anyway, that's maybe, that maybe they have gathered their facts and now, now they are confronting her with it. Yeah, mm. um, Lagos State Government keep shifting the goalpost on this resumption for students. You know, first they came up with the idea that, oh, look, everybody will resume from September 21. And, you know, they should also understand that parents need to make preparation. So this idea of, oh, look, let these ones resume first, let these other ones not resume. It is... Um, According to them, is to maintain a social distance Maintaining protocol. social distance, um, uh, yes, I agree. But you should... Well, you, you came out first... Uh, in uh, July to say the schools will resume by uh, September. Later, but they said the they would review. This commissioner now said no, we didn't make such statement. And then you now came back and said, okay, we'll review. And then you said September 21st, schools will resume. And why schools were announcing resumption for proven primary school people? Mm. You came again and said, no, 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 no. It's GS3 and SS2 students only. You should be specific on what you want to achieve, you know? So there are some students who are in boarding houses. There are parents also who are looking for money to pay school fees. So they understand this, all of these things. And then quickly, um, headsman Rob Ogunfama, mm. uh, police, um, police, uh, Panway Tapa beat up a police over 150,000. This thing, 
all of these, this uh, first and foremost, the pan wine cellar, these are issues that have been with us. A lot of issues are boiling over if not properly handled. Mm. Some people have alleged that in some cases when money, police recover money to even you know, hand over those exhibits is a problem in most cases. So recover money from... How do you, mean? you you report a matter okay. of fraud now, and then the police recovers Collect the money. money. Mm -hmm. To hand over the money to the complainant in some cases is a big problem. And, and so you find some people also now, a situation where somebody will take the law into his hand, mm. to the extent of even assaulting a police officer, it's you know frightening. And then the issue of headsmen rob robbery. Now some of us can't even travel, we can't drive. We used, I used to love driving. On Friday morning, I just take my car, and straight to Benin, but now I can no longer do it for fear of this. A friend of mine Security. coming to Lagos now to go to Ibadan, we are looking for how to, you know, look for security to, you know, take him to Ibadan. So all of this issue, it is not enough for police just to tell us that they are on top of this situation. Mm. And every day it keeps happen it's happening. New form of initially, we so saw because the president is from it's a Fulani, we shouldn't be adding Fulani. No, now just leave it as initially it was um, militant or bandit. But you cannot separate, you know, the, um, uh, the boldness of this Fulani headsman mm -hmm. from the silence of government. And, you know, when you are silent about these issues, it's emboldening them to consistently, you know, do it. And that's why government should do something. We should, we should ensure that security is it's, um, it's, um, heavily deregulated, these are issues we should be talking about and not a situation where, yeah, you can have a federal police, but also help the state to set up, you know, security structures because insecurity is local. And so security also should be local. The people should understand their terrain much more than somebody who is transferred from burning Kebi mm. to come, you know, to provide, <laughs> to, to, uh, um, uh, to provide security in uh, Aniocha or in uh, 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 Urugu, mm. how much of this area does he know? He, also, he wants to preserve himself, especially given the fact that he does not have the required you know, um, facilities to, to, to properly Understand protect the, the area. So we should look at how to ensure that security is a local you know, thing that go the state government should be able to handle. And so look at... We're talking about Amoteku. You say they can't bear arms. Mm. So you give them uniform. Like Fela said, uniform na cloth, na tailor, the swam. So mm. it's not, the uniform cannot protect anything. How do you use just bare uniform to stop a man with guns? Now we're even saying that bandits even have more firepower than our, you know, security personnel. So these same governors would donate vehicles and they provide their trust fund to buy arms from the federal government, some of the money can be frittered away, and yet they cannot set up, you know, their own security and their chief security officers of the state. And then lastly, on that, um, the, the promiscuity of politicians, it's something that is, uh, is, is very appalling and shameful in this part of the world. Mm. Akere Dolu's deputy, his deputy moved from APC to PDP. He was denied ticket, then he moved to, was it Zenith Labour Party? And now the party's deputy chair or the party's chair has defected into APC. Mm -hmm. You know, I just, it, it's so shameful. From one party to the other. And the story continues. Libras, I want to say thank you so very much for being with me in the segment this morning. My pleasure. And that's how we call it a wrap here on Off the Press within the Breakfast Show.